Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Friday, October 25th. And I can place a 9 immediately, right off the gate, but I can't follow up with it. I get a 6 in the middle rows. 9's the only digit in the top rows. I get a 6 in the middle rows, and I think that's all I get. In the bottom rows, I get a 5. And then I get a 4. Two, three, six, nine. Otherwise, I'm done. Twos go there. Those two nines place a nine here. These two fours place a four there. In column five, box two. Oh, I can place a six two spots. On the right, I get a 9. 819475. Otherwise, so I'm done. Okay. Let's see, 4, 3, they all occur here. Seven can't go here, but that leaves three places in region eight. Uh, one and four can't go here, but they don't cross. Oh, this nine leaves these three is filled. So one can't go there, which means it goes here and therefore here. Uh, these are four, five, seven, and eight in some fashion. This can't be two, three, six, eight, nine. This also can't be two, three, six, eight, nine. So this is one, four, five, and seven also. So those aren't eight, so the, this is eight. Therefore, one of those is an eight. This cell could be rather interesting based on the digits it sees. One and then four through nine inclusive. That's two or three only. This can't be three, four, six, seven, nine. Two, five, and eight, but that sees a five. These ones can't be four, six, seven, one, four, six, seven, nine. Two, three, five, and eight, and that one sees a five. Oh. So one's there, therefore here. This sees two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. This is one or eight. That one sees three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Okay, this is one, two, eight. Now, if I can limit it to four, I have a shot. Uh, these are not one, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Because they all see one, eight, nine, and then four, five, seven. 2, 3, and 6. This one sees 2 out of the 3. That's been a 6 the whole time. Therefore, one of those is 6. Ooh. I need a color for X-wings or something. Like light blue. To mark as an X-wing on 6s because I've used my 6s in columns 1, 3, and row 6 and 7. Now, this one can't be one, four through nine, so this is two or three only. Oh, 
those are all one, two, three, and eight. This is potentially three fourths of one, two, three, eight. But I don't think I can do anything useful with it. This cell is quite restricted. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Oh, that's a seven. Because it literally can't be absolutely any of the other digits. This nine took out the only other option. So this seven, this seven, and that seven places a seven in box six. You put the modes right. Now one of those is seven. Um, one, six, seven, eight, nine. So two, three, four, and five go in column seven. In that configuration. One, four, six, seven, eight. So this is from two, three, five, and nine. It sees a five. Oh, this is two or three because it too sees five and nine. So this one now can only be a nine. Therefore, that's nine. This ends up as five. Um, five puts a five here, which I could have seen from my column. Uh, marking. So this, so both of those fall from two, three, four, eight, although that sees a four. So four is in these. That four means four is in those. Uh, four, five, seven, nine. Oh, six is here. I need one, two, three, six, eight in those cells, but they all see eight. And I clean up the other digits. Uh, this one, three is not particularly of interest at the moment. These aren't one, two, six, or nine. In row two, box two, in row three, box two. This can't be two, five, six, eight, nine. And up with one, three, four, and seven. Interesting. This can't be one, five, six, or not eight, nine. That's from two, three, four, and seven. Not that that helps me. It does not. Let's see, these are seven, eight, nine. Neither can be one. This could be two, that can't. This is not three, four, five, six, nine. It is one, two, seven, or eight. Oh. Okay, so these and these aren't seven. So seven has been sitting here as a hidden two digits. That along with that will leave these as seven. Five, seven in the same two spots in the same region. Lead to that being a pair. Four, five, six, seven, nine. In row nine, leaves this as one, two, three, and eight. And this sees two and three. And is therefore down to one and eight. This one eight and that one eight, because they're in two different rows in two different regions, do not interact with each other. Uh, two, three, five, seven, nine in column three. Okay, these are from one, four, six, and eight. That's not eight. This isn't four.
five, six, seven, nine. No, five through nine inclusive for those two cells. So those are one, two, three, four. Let's see, if I can eliminate it down to four cells, I might be able to help. I've really still got two, five, seven in box seven. That doesn't help me much, does it? It does not. These cells can't be five, seven, eight, nine. They are one, two, three, four, six. I can at least clean it up to four candidates. Not that that helps me much. It doesn't. Uh, two, three, five, six, seven. These are one, four, eight, nine. In row eight, box seven. So lot was left. I don't have much help. Not even with this one, four, six, eight quad. Two, three, so only interacts with that. See, that T shape is not one, eight, nine. What I did, I, I miss hit the seven key. That's neither five nor seven. This isn't either, along with it. It's these three in a row, then this, these three in a row, and then four and six. Got two third to two five seven here. It doesn't help me any. Yeah, it absolutely does not. Okay, these aren't two, five, seven. Uh, oh, if it weren't for this five, seven here, oofta. I don't quite have one, three, four, six, nine here. Um. Now. This is not going to be one of my better solves today. Um, okay, uh, this can't be three by the arrived pair. This isn't three by given. That's not three by placement in the box. So three in row nine by definition can only go here. This is not three. That's a two by derivation. Does that help me with anything? It gives me a three, four, five. Yeah. Three in row nine. I've only gone here. So this definitely is not three. Now this one eight also doesn't interact with this one eight or this one eight. Uh, well, I may as well mark the three, four, five, because I know that's all I need for column seven. Oh, one, three, eight places a two here. I'll take care of three and two and a bunch of other stuff. Let me switch this back to centering mode so I can clear the markings. I 
I knew that was part of something else. Orange don't help me. Oh. What does three go in column four? These and these are out by the threes already in the given boxes. This is out by given digits, so that's that three's been hidden for quite some time. That place is a one. Uh, four six has made this an eight. And now I've got a five seven. Okay, so that has now resolved itself two ways. Row three will be this. The red triple will be region will be box two. These are neither four nor six. This is a one. Um, seven, eight, nine. That forms a triple, but unfortunately I can't do anything with it. And this four, eight, nine also forms a triple that I can't do anything with. Right now, either. Yeah, I've got at least two, three triple, four actually. Box two, box three, box nine, and box eight. I've got four different triples that are all sort of offset by one or more digits. Have I done any useful work on the left three columns? I'm not sure I have, because I really need to do that. Mostly before I can get away with chipping away at some of the rest of the grid, but 3 8 here means that's not 3. And therefore, this is 2 6. So I end up with one of those as a 3, but that doesn't solve the mystery of any of the other digits. In row two, column seven, or column nine. Um, but where does two go in row two? It can't be here by this, here by the derived triple, here by placed, here by placed. That two in row two, column eight, has been sitting there, and you've probably been shouting at me for a while. Uh, this two is not going to help me with, with much else, is it? It will not. Uh, I'm doing anything. I need any useful progress, not really. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm missing the ninth triple designation. I could place seven in column four. I can't do that.
and I, but I don't think I can say I had an X-wing here and here. I mean, maybe I can, and this ends up being 1-5. I mean, this is probably 4-7, and that's an 8, but I, how do I prove that? I'm honestly not sure that I can. Let's see, by box one, I have nothing useful. By box two, I've got nothing useful. Uh, box three is a quad. Uh, re box four. Nothing useful. Five is the same way, six and nine. And eight are triples. Let's see. I said four was here, and this was four. Oh, those cells cannot be four. Pay attention to the, your grid column. So, this is down to one or three. This is down to one, two, three. That help me though. I don't think it does. No, I, I did this wrong. If these were four and this is four, then these have to be four. It's those cells that can't be four. Ah, that gives me a 168, and that's what I wanted to see. This cell, row 2, column 3, has been shouting as a 4, and you guys have been shouting that at me the whole time. I'm sure of it. That gives me a 5-7 to go with this 5-7 in column 1. That places the very top of the grid. Excuse me. Is a one. What that also gives me is a five seven pair within the box, which places an eight. Um, I believe that's the breakthrough I'm looking for because that takes care of box eight, which is going to piggyback and take care of box five just about. Actually, I have to do box two first. And then I come back. No, I can't do that. This is not eight. That's five, four, seven, three, five, three, eight, four to complete box six, and three, and this is not three. Seven, five, go in box seven. The one here sorts out eight and six. One, eight, there we go. Three, one, six. Yeah, I can type three, two, four, 
seven and the final one and eight. Ah, 25 minutes. This was ugly. <laughs> if you manage to go through the end of the video and persevere through the mistakes, then bravo. This was not a master class on how to solve things, but hopefully you learned something and you can all laugh with me and figure out how on earth I could possibly have missed fill in the blank. But I hope you had more enjoyment than I did. And we'll see you for more classic hard Sudoku's later.